This visual is going to show you the order of assembly um, from first piece to the, the rain cap. First piece is your metal heat shield. It's going to come with a plastic wrap on it. Um, remove that before assembly. That's just to protect it during transport. Um, you'll note a couple of uh, warning labels um, on the heat shield. Um, don't place any kindling or any combustible materials on this once it's installed in your sauna. Um, this is going to get pushed up to the back of your back wall of your sauna. Next up we have the Parvia M3 heater. There's a connection port on the rear. It's going to show up to you um, closed. You're going to remove a screw here and open it up. Inside the stove you're going to have this adapter. You can see that there is a um, like a catch here that's going to get caught on the top. So to start it off, you're going to put it on the side and then you're going to rotate it till it's at the top, which locks it into place and that won't fall out. The next step is your four to six inch reducer. That's going to get slot. That's going to slot right on top of that. As far as it goes, you can see that we have started one screw on here. We recommend putting three screws um, to hold this into place. You'll see what we, what we hold into place in one second. Um, we'll just move this out of the way for one second just to show you the first connection part. Um, you've got a nine inch stove, uh, sorry, nine inch chimney piece. On it, you're gonna place this on. Every connection has, is gonna get screwed together with your short screws. They're actually pre-drilled, so you don't have to drill, you don't have to guess where to put them. Um, you can see on, on all of the silver chimney parts, um, you can see a pre-drilled area. You would simply use one of the small metal screws and fasten that so that it won't come apart. So everything inside the sauna is gonna be black. Everything on the exterior of the sauna is going to be silver. This is going to connect into here. The metal screw that I started, you're gonna finish that off and it's gonna hold that whole connection right in place there. I'll just lay it down here so you can see. Uh, next up is gonna be putting the hole in the wall. Um, you, will, you will have to make this cut as there may be a slight variations in height um, and we, we don't want you to mess that up. If you pull this apart, you can see that that there are a few different shapes happening here. You're going to do a square cut. The cut has to be smaller than the uh, flange on the back. So this is going to be in the wall, black on the inside, silver on the outside. You're going to take a measurement. You're going to have the stove sitting on the heat shield. And that exit port is going to show you the exact location where that hole needs to be. Um, and that's going to be where you cut out your hole. I like to place this right onto the back wall and I'll trace it with a pencil so that I know exactly um, where my hole is going to be. I'll cut it out and then this is going to get fastened to the back wall. You can see that each chimney piece has a sticker on it labeling uh, the up direction up being direction of smoke, um, so you're not going to want that going the other direction. So moving on to the exterior of the sauna, this is what you're going to see. The next piece is your T chimney part, cheap T chimney piece. It's going to connect on the same way uh, as all the other chimney pieces and you're going to uh, screw it to fasten it in. Um, there is a uh, removable catch on the bottom for uh, chimney cleaning after a couple seasons um, of heavy use. You are gonna wanna pull it out, give your chimney a quick cleaning. So that's gonna connect onto there and that's gonna get held into place by your wall support. It just comes in three simple pieces. You've got two triangles um, and then this adjustable catch. So this is gonna get fastened to the back wall um, and once it's on top of, once it's over this, uh, you're just gonna clamp it down and it's gonna hold it into place. On top of that, you've got two 36 inch um, chimney pieces. 
they will then get fastened to the back wall below and above the window, if you have a window, uh, with these um, wall supports. They just slide onto the chimney and then get fastened to the back wall. Keep in mind that your back wall is an inch and a half thick, uh, so make sure that you're not using the two and a half inch screws for that. The final step will be mounting the rain cap on, and that simply is gonna slide onto the last 36 inch chimney piece, and it will then uh, fasten down with this tensioner. So after you've drawn your center mark, you're gonna take this piece, and you have this much variance to cut um, the hole in your, in your back wall. Your cut has to be between this raised line and this, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to center it on my hole, on my uh, my drawn circle. I'm going to trace the inside line, and that's where I'm going to cut to create a rec uh, a, a perfect square, um, so that this flange can fit inside the back wall. We've moved around to the back side of the sauna. We have our, our hole cut out. I've positioned the stove in such a way that uh, it's close to the wall so that I can push stuff against it and have it uh, be a bit of a block. Um, the next piece to go on will be your, your wall flange. It's gonna go into place. You're gonna fasten it with your inch and a quarter screws. Our next piece is this assembly that we put together. You can remember this one. Uh, and the reason I put the stove close to the back wall is I can actually now have something to push against when I put this in. So I'm going to put this in and I connect it into the adapter. Um, after I do that, this will be sticking out of the wall. And the next piece to get attached onto it will be my 90 degree uh, T-junction. Um, you've got your exit port on the bottom to clean out your stove, uh, sorry, to clean out your chimney if you have creosote buildup or ash buildup. Um, so there's also a little sticker that has an up arrow so you know that that's going to be the up direction. And this is going to be held in support by the wall kit that's going to get mounted right onto the back wall right there to hold it all up and in place. Okay, so you can see that we've mounted um, this wall support kit to the back wall with inch and a half screws, so it's not the screws aren't popping through into the sauna. Um, this is gonna provide our downward support um, for the chimney pipes that are gonna be built on top of this. Um, and then we've fastened our T-pipe onto this by closing these clamps and tightening them right here. You can see this connection point. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare these two additional chimney pipes. You can see that the, um, the rain cap fits on, uh, and then you just need to tighten it down right here to lock it into place. So I'll do that right now. That's tight now, it won't fly away. My other piece is gonna fit right on top of here. You wanna make sure that it's down as far as it goes. Um, and your kit is gonna come with a lot of small metal screws, some little bags of metal screws. There's a pre-drilled hole, three holes per uh, piece. Um, and you're just going to fasten that right in there to make sure that the connection will hold.
And then finally, you're going to use one of these mounting brackets. It's going to go around the chimney pipe above your rear window and it's going to screw in right to the back wall. These are adjustable, so depending on where you want the stove to, to land, you can adjust these, tighten these bolts up to lock it into place, and you're going to screw right into the back wall.